I am not invisible. I'm visible. The first time I held Tina's hand, I felt a connection I never knew before. We grew together and now we've been married for 30 years. 15 years into our marriage, Tina began limping. We went from doctor to doctor until she was diagnosed with multiple sclerosis. We also found out she had spinal stenosis, which required surgery. She's still using her wheelchair, and we're hoping at any moment her use of her legs will return. We are together 24-7. We're inseparable. I am blessed to have my husband as my in-home care provider. My life revolves around Tina. We moved into a different home two years ago and need to remodel the bathroom so that it's wheelchair friendly. Now I set up the seat, uh, take the hinge off the doors, pick up my wife and put her into the bathtub. Bathing is a family event. It takes about a half a day. I've even learned to press and bump hair, take vital signs, give injections, and administer medication. The state pays me to take care of Tina so they don't have to pay costly hospital bills. Home care providers like me save the state millions of dollars every year in emergency services. However, every year legislators try to take away hours of care for care recipients like Tina which is extremely stressful and destroys our ability to make plans and pay bills. When we were working professionals, we made more than enough. Now it feels like the politicians just see Tina and the care I provide as just another number in their budget. During the financial crisis, California needed our help and we made the sacrifice. Our clients gave up 7% of their service hours. I had 7% of my income taken away to help the state balance the budget. This household personally has saved the state of California millions of dollars in the prevention of very costly surgeries. California is back on its feet. Now it's time our state and elected leaders permanently restore Tina's hours of care. It's time the state restores my wages as a California care provider. Our dignity can't wait. We need to be back on our feet now to 